YouTube, what's going on? It's your boy Tijon, aka Top Cyberdog, and I'm back with another video. Now, in my last video, we dove into the Less FM platform and got right into a sock alert for incidents response investigation. And I'd like to continue that same theme in this video. We're going to hop into the battle station, pick out an alert, and see what we can find. It'd be a great way to get hands-on experience, not only for myself, but for those looking to get into cybersecurity or become a SOC analyst. Before we jump in though, I do want to thank each and every one of my subscribers so far. We just reached over 200 subscribers and that's something I couldn't even imagine. I've never made this channel for any kind of large fan base, but I definitely want to document my journey in cybersecurity and show some kind of representation in the field. So. To all my subscribers, those leaving comments, words of encouragement, I salute you. Thank you so much. Without further ado, let's hop over into Let's Defend and get right into it. I'll see you on the computer. Peace. All right, y'all. I got my Celsius can and we ready to go. Mm. That first sip. All right, so we're logged into our Let's Defend account. We've already navigated up to the practice section where we can then select an alert to investigate. And I've already been eyeing on one of these, the SOC 113 suspicious hh.exe usage, which is a type of malware. So we'll click on that to get some alert details. Looks like it was allowed. Looks like it's having to do with the WinRAR, which is an application. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and select this one. So we'll take ownership. After we take ownership, it moves that ticket straight into our investigation channel where we can then begin our case management. So we will create that case. And then now we can see our playbook for this ticket. All right. All right, these are different plays. Okay. So in the meantime, let's do some investigating on the alert details that we already have. All right, so the source address is 172.16.17.47, and that is our bill production host. Okay, let's go ahead and input the file hash that was left in our alert. So we'll go ahead and paste that. And we can see virus total has deemed this non-malicious and it is labeled as winrar.chm. Okay, I know what WinRAR is, but I don't know what .chm is. So let's go ahead, copy that, take it over to Google and see what the hell this is. Okay, winrar.chm is a file that uses the chm file extension, which stands for Microsoft Compiled HTML Help. Okay. So it looks like the user was possibly looking for some kind of help within the winrar application. All right. Let's see what exactly the hh.exe is. So straight from the horse's mouth on Microsoft, the HTML help executable program hh.exe runs whenever a user clicks a compiled help.chm file or menu item that opens that help file inside the help viewer. The HTML help executable program calls the HTML help active x control which opens the file, the help file, and provides navigation and other features to the user. Okay. 
all good indicators so far, but let's go ahead We can see that a file um, was attached to this alert. What I want to do is run a search on that file path. So we'll go ahead and plug that into hybrid analysis and do a check on that file. So we'll go ahead and select the parameters for our virtual environment in which we will open up and test this file. Windows 10 should be fine. Okay, so already hybrid analysis has come back with this zip file being whitelisted. We'll update it. As you can see right here, updated one month ago, click to refresh. I always like to refresh to see if anything has changed. It will do its thing over here in the antivirus results and it is clean. Okay. Coming down here to the relations, we can see the file inside of the zip, and we can see that it is the winrar.chm, which is whitelisted. Let's go ahead and click that. And we'll refresh that as well. And this has been whitelisted as well. So I don't think this was malicious so far. Um, The endpoint, Bill PRD, let's check the endpoint to see what is up with the endpoint specifically. All right. So Bill PRD with the IP address of 172.16.17.47 is currently running Windows 10 and the primary user is Bill01. Okay, and already off the bat, we can see in the processes section, the hh.exe has run on the machine. All right. For network action, the user hasn't interacted with too much and none of these dates correlate with our event. Okay, we can see from the terminal history that the user ran a command regarding the hh.exe from WinRAR. Okay, I honestly truly believe that the user was just seeking documentation for help reasons within WinRAR. Okay. Log management. Did that. Let's go ahead and go back to our playbook and run through the plays. All right, select the threat indicator. Unknown or unexpected outgoing internet traffic. No. Antivirus programs malfunctioning or becoming disabled for unknown reasons. No. Unknown or unexpected services and applications configured to launch automatically on system boot. Not exactly for this alert. So the best option is other. We'll hit next. Check if the malware is quarantined slash cleaned. According to our alert, the device action has listed this as allowed, meaning it was not quarantined. All right, so not quarantined. Analyze malware is the next play. Analyze malware in a third party tool to find C2 addresses. You can use free products and services below. So we utilized hybrid analysis and virus total. According to hybrid analysis, it's not malicious, it's been whitelisted. We checked virus total uh, for the file hash and it was not deemed malicious. What we didn't check in virus total is the zip file. I'm just curious. Let's run a search on that. Ah. So virus total has deemed this as malicious. 
Okay, but that doesn't necessarily mean that it truly is malicious. But well, that is good to note that Virus Total has deemed it malicious. Okay. I still believe it's non-malicious. Based off of what we've seen, the documentation from Microsoft and WinRAR, I do not believe this is malicious. So we're gonna select non-malicious. And then we are gonna input our details. And like I mentioned in my previous investigation, I like to keep all my alert details in a Word document to the side where I can just easily plug and uh, play those data points into my investigation. All right, WinRAR file hash. And then we'll go ahead and plug in the defanged address for the zip file. You see right there. Zip file. URL address. Go ahead and hit next. And we'll go ahead and copy and paste my analyst notes. All right. So here's a breakdown of my notes and what I found and recommend for the next steps for this endpoint. So we'll go ahead and hit next. Confirm. Our playbook has finished. Once we have confirmed that, um, that brings us back to our investigation channel where we can then begin the process of closing the alert. All right, and we'll select false positive. And for my closed alert notes, <clears throat> excuse me, I just like to copy and paste the analyst notes as well. Go ahead and hit close alert and see what our sock spits back at us. Booyah, the confetti has dropped and we have a successful investigation. Our alert has moved to closed alerts and we can see the details from our investigation. Um, and then we can see our playbook answers that we have got those right and that this is a false positive. The WinWar application wasn't anything malicious and it, the user was just trying to seek out some kind of help info for that program. All right, so that was a quick investigation. Severity was low, but every ticket has to get looked at and investigated. So we knocked that one out. The streak still continues at 163 days. Thank you guys for sticking along with me during this investigation. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.